Whisper Gaming ASMR. Today I'm going to be playing a game that has been getting a lot of hype lately, a lot of people are talking about it, and that is Metroid Prime Remastered. And uh, full disclosure, I've never really played this game. Um, I did own it when it first came out back in 2000, I think 2002, or somewhere around there. Um, yeah, I bought it. I was around eight at the time. I guess it's a little younger than, yeah. I was around eight. Um, and I did not get very far into it. I got about ten minutes into the game, and then I got too scared to really ever play it again. Uh, I distinctly remember that I spent more time reading the instruction manual that came with the game than I spent actually playing the game. So, um, this will be very new to me, but I've heard a lot of good things. I have a friend who is a big fan of this franchise, and he said I need to play it, so it seemed like a good game to cover on this channel. Unidentified distress beacon has been tracked to a derelict space vessel in orbit above. Something I didn't read fast enough. Trying to decide how much um, actual commentary I want to provide during this game. I don't... I'll let the narration talk. So I guess the narrations are a new thing, at least for the American version, that they added to the remaster. So I enabled them. Seemed like a, a cool extra layer to add to the game, since I don't know much about Metroid lore or anything like that. But yeah, I'm not sure how much commentary I'm going to provide. Um, I don't know. I've heard the music and sound design this game's very good so I don't want to step on it too much but this is an ASMR video and I don't know how much the sound in this game is going to provide ASMR triggers or anything like that so I'm going to experiment and try to find a good balance again this also is not the most r relaxing game from what I've gathered so I don't know how good of a fit it's going to be for ASMR but this is a new channel, so I'm all about trial and error. Let's see. I'm also playing with a GameCube controller to get the optimum amount of nostalgia. Let's see. Press LZ to lock onto a target. Am I supposed to zap this thing? Lock-on's kind of nice. Next set of force field controls are offline. Scan the central pillar to activate them. Or critical scan targets, okay. Force field activation switches are now online. I've heard that this is actually primarily a game about exploration more than combat or being a first person shooter. Combat visor, okay, so this is the scan. It blocks the entrance. The switch is directly connected to the force field barrier. There. 
Also, I don't know how much the controller's picking up on the microphone. I kind of like the sound of mechanical clocking, so... Um, oh, nice, there's two different jump buttons. That's interesting. Um, so maybe the controllers can provide a type of ASMR trigger for you as well, if mechanical clocking is a sound that you enjoy. Use the beam. Oh. One shoot doors will open when you approach them. Oh, one shot. Oh, I can't read. Okay, I remember this hallway we're getting about to the point that I uh, ended this game. Um, I remember the part where you turn into a ball. And uh, that's about as far as I got. Door cannot be opened until the airlock is repressurized. Use the activation panel to repressurize the room. Okay. Is this the panel? Where's the panel that I'm looking for? Oh, what the heck is that thing? all that stuff go that was floating in the air just disappeared. Yep, this I think is about, I think, which I think those are basically rats in this version of it, in this universe, but those things creep me out enough where I'm like, yeah, I don't think this is for me. Okay, yep, I kind of vaguely remember this thing now. Creature entry has been downloaded. Morphology parasite, interstellar vermin, they travel in swarms. Indigenous to Talon 4. A single parasite is harmless to larger life forms, however, they tend to travel in large groups. Swarming over potential prey, such swarms can be dangerous. What the heck is that thing? Space pirate. Death caused by severing of the spinal cord. Okay, that's. Oh wow. Those uh, seem quite big compared to me in that little graph to the side. What the hell is this thing? Unknown info high levels of radiation detected. Death caused by severe flame damage to exoskeleton. Analysis shows incredibly large muscle structures surrounding the jaw area. Fluid sacs containing acid are also detected. That does not sound like something I would like to mess with then. Biohazard material, phase on batch, 0142A. Farming got away. I guess I'm not going to kill those. Escape pod entrance. Evacuation occurred six hours prior to your arrival. Looks like I was a little late to the party then. Anything over here? This is pretty interesting. I like the combat visor thing. I don't know if this is the type of game where there's a bunch of stuff hidden around the corners, like how much I should actually explore. Yeah, like what was, oh, is that vermin? How'd this guy die? Death caused by acidic burns to body, chemical type unknown. Eh, that's not a good way to go out. Oh, there's a space pirate. Looks like he is still alive. Weak life signs detected. Imprints of large bite marks can be seen on the exoskeleton. Tail section possesses a mouth-like orifice, most likely used for birthing offspring. Slightly disturbing. Escape pod launched. Same thing. 
kill this guy or do I talk to him? Dude, you're you're in the middle of dying and you still use your last the last of your remaining energy to try to kill me. Okay, I think I've scanned about everything I can in this room. Use your charge beam. Press and hold. This is about where I got to 20, 21 years ago when I played this game. Let me guess, I can't get through this door. Oh, no, I can't get through the door. Step into the hologram. Can I turn into a ball though? Can I chase these things? Oh, nice. I can turn to. Yeah, I remember doing this. Nice. This little hidden thing. Look at that. Looks like there's a secret area back there that I missed. Maybe I should go check it out. Yeah, I'm not trying to rush through this game. I do want to explore and enjoy it. Two Parasite Queen specimens have become volatile on the deck beta. All security personnel should report to the biotech research area. Parasitic infection has been detected in the ventilation systems of Dex, Gamma, and Beta. Frick exterior all stable and fully functional. Dial in four ground zero area secure greater radiation readings normal. I don't understand how you turn into a ball. I don't understand the physics of that, but also kind of just a weird ability to possess. Yeah, it's just the way it came. I move faster if I just roll around like this. Oh, nice. Figured out how to drop bombs accidentally. Can I jump in ball form? Nice, I can jump in ball form. Let's see. Is there a little secret passage? Is it this hallway? Okay, it's through this door. Do these bombs hurt me? Oh no, but they make me do a little jump. Maybe I need something later to access this. Access that yet. Rolling around.
This energy conductor unit has been damaged. Use caution when approaching the arcing electricity. A specimen containment breach on deck beta. All crew report for lockdown. game seems pretty advanced for 2002. There's a lot going on already. Hibernation. I, I guess I should probably survey the area before I read all this stuff. Missiles with R. What do I need to fire missiles at? Ballistic support needed in specimen F blog. That doesn't sound good. Missiles to break outer casing. Oh, oh, that's on the other side. I thought that was that monster. Okay. Entry. Space bars encrypted data decoded. Zeppus, is that how you say it? Zeppus has fallen. All ground personnel are presumed dead. Either killed by the hunter, clad in metal, or in the subs subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. Our research frigates. Orson, Tesserus, and Vol Paracom were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Forget. That's a nice one. Orphan Orpheon. Orpheon is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Orpheon's cargo appears to have 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy, but on restricted feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status, we are ready to begin research on the Metroids. Another promising life form security status remains. At Code Blue, no signs of pursuit from the hunter. Is that me, or is there a different hunter? Phase on infusion stage two, Intr introducing mutagen into tank. Sorry if uh, me reading all this stuff is boring for, for you. Hopefully you want the lore and things like that, but 
understand if that isn't your uh, isn't your thing. Oh, nice auto turret disabled. Plasmite, need a Fatalin four. Arm muscles encounter in large numbers. Xenotropic life form unstable use caution. So is that one still alive? Is that another another one of those flies? This mu I must be able to unlock this thing later. No. Waste of a rocket. So much to read in this game. Was this an educational game or something? structure failing. Oh no, I can scan this thing. This specimen has been horribly mutated. There are no life ratings. Bioform pain tolerance almost at 13% molting. Well, let's see what this does. Elevator, please step into the hologram. Did I rate these already? in the saliva ducts. Incredible strength and body mass increased when exposed to phase on. Okay. Waste removal may begin in three hours. Phase on radiation rating must be reported to deck commander before our batch disposal. sure I have to fight one of those things here at some point. Oh, another dying space pirate. Can I scan him? Sphere internal damage detected. Can I help them? Nope. Okay. Nope, I cannot. Oh, shit. Where's that other one? Survey the area before I start reading shit. Okay, so I gotta hit them with a charge beam, it seems. Is there more of them? Damn. The market kind of fucked up, and I'm still in like the tutorial area. I guess I gotta be a little more weary. Okay, let's see what these monstrosities are. A zoomer. Oh, I guess that was ahead of its time. Plated parasite larva. Solitary holding toxic status or medic sealed holding. This is not a place I would like to work. War wasp. I'm assuming I have to fucking fight all these things later. Another war wasp. Normalist task for medic seal holding. Plasma. Okay. What is this thing? A shriek bat. Wow, this is this planet has some kind of terrifying looking stuff. Another shriek, an ice shriek bat. I'm sure her medic seal holding. Okay. Oh, I think that's a turret. Oh shit. Keep 
each of these videos around a half an hour, maybe a little longer. I don't know if there's like natural stopping points in this game or not. Again, this is like further than I've ever been, so this is all new to me. If we step into the hologram. Space pirate death caused by severe lacerations to the abdomen. something over 20 years old. Door lock enabled. Please insert metallic sphere into door open. Oh shit. That would have definitely scared, like terrified me as a kid. For some reason I used to be very, uh, easily scared by video games. Can I hop through that hole? Oh, never mind. What? How does that technology even make sense? Why would they have a door that can only be opened if you turn into a little metal ball? Oh shit. charge beam. Device does not seem to be functional. There must be something nearby that will turn it on. I guess it's this thing, probably. But how did these space pirates open doors? I'm assuming they don't have the ability to turn into a little metal ball. Cranial trauma, oof. Death caused by severe lacerations. Acid burns to the oh, acid burns to the face. That is rough. The save station. Oh, is this a saving point? Oh, nice. And I'm right at the 28 minute mark. This will probably be a good. Stopping point. I'm sure there's nothing else in here I, I missed. Well, I guess I will go to that safe point and uh, probably call it there. Let's see how this works. Yes, I want to save. Save in progress. Energy fully replenished. Nice. Oh, well, that's convenient. So I'm going to end the video here right at the 29 minute mark, and in the next one we will pick up from here and uh, see what else is. This is a space station research area, I don't know. See what else Talon 4 has to offer in our adventure. But I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope that this has been enjoyable, and again, I'm always open to feedback, so if you want less commentary, if somehow you want more commentary, I don't really know how that'd be possible, but um, anything like that, please comment, and uh, I will take this feedback into consideration. Again, I've said this in previous videos, I don't know exactly how they're going to re release. This might actually come out before the other videos are recorded, but um, I'm working on building up about 25 videos before I upload anything just so I can have a regular release schedule and kind of give myself a buffer. So if you do leave a comment with feedback and I don't immediately um, take action on that, no, it's not me ignoring you. Um, it's just because I may have already had a lot of videos recorded um, before I was able to read that feedback. So just putting that out there and uh, I hope you'll come back for the next part of this series as I go through Metroid Prime Remastered. Hope you have a nice night, and I will see you again soon.